So, I'm getting ready to go on a date. And tonight, Ariana's taking me on the date. Whoo, roles are switched. I'm pretty old fashioned, as I'm sure a lot of you are, so I'm all about paying for the lady. You know, never let the lady pay. But one cool thing about Ariana is that she's very focused on being financially independent. So she's all about making her own money, pulling her own weight, and never relying on anybody to support her financially. So about a week ago, she goes, Nick, this weekend, this Saturday, I'm taking you on a date, and you're going to let me. That's how she talks. I'm taking you on a date, and you're going to let me. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So that's how I talk. So tonight, she's treating me. And I'm the lucky girl who gets to get taken on a date. So this is one of those rare occasions where I actually get to dress up and wear something besides gym clothes. Because I pretty much live in sweatpants and stringers. So, the outfit of the day tonight is going to be Louis Vuitton Damier loafers. Michael Kors dress pants. I'm sure there's a style name for the pants, but I don't know it. Uh, Polo Ralph Lauren dress shirts and a belt by Walmart. And we're gonna go with either a gold or silver watch. I love the gold watch, it kind of pops. They don't smell. No, they don't. Mom's nurturing skills. So, my house got skunked. The side of my house got sprayed by a skunk. I found the dead skunk today under my porch. Um, and it managed to spray like the vent to my dryer. So even my dryer and washing machine oh, stink so terribly. Good. All the clothes that I had out, have a very mild touch of a skunk smell to it. Not too bad, but enough where you can notice it if you're sitting with me in a car or like in a close quarter. Uh, fortunately, my date night clothes were put away in the closet. They smelled pretty good. Just to be extra safe, I brought them to my mom's house where I could use the shower and wash them in a non-stinky washer and dryer just to make sure they smell extra fresh and not skunky at all for the date because that's the worst thing. Nice restaurant, skunk smell. <laughs> so um, I was ironing my shirt and whatnot and my mom came over and pointed out how bad I am at ironing. 24 years old and I still need mom to iron my clothes for me. So thank you, mom. Mama's boy. <laughs> Ebony, ivory, living in perfect harmony. And then remember the old bedroom? Woo, it's a guest room now and used for clutter and storage, obviously. None of that is mine. None of these clothes are mine, except for these shirts. These are mine from fifth grade. Feed FUBU. <laughs> All my old Flex magazines. I was in one of them. Speaking of which, do you guys remember this wall used to have all my magazines on it? And then I had a lot of like magazine clippings up on this wall. And then I had all my trophies up on a shelf that was over this wall. And this is where my old dinosaur of a computer was. That's not mine. I don't know whose that is. I don't think that even works. Again, this room's mostly just storage now. I don't recognize any of this stuff. The bed's not even mine. This is like a nicer bed than I currently have, actually. It's like a Tempur-Pedic. Wow, these relics, man, these are so old. These were my old Nike 6.0s. I loved Nike 6.0s. I had a couple different pairs of them. Man, I can't even believe these still exist, like in my closet, in my old closet. <laughs> That's crazy. A duck, you can come like full, wherever you think looks good. Lucy, you gonna be in it? Oh, sure, he knows how to pose. so cute. <laughs> Okay. Oh, nice um, oh. <laughs> Stay Lou. Lou. Lucy. Oh my god, she's so cute. What does infant mean? Oh, portrait. Infant. <laughs> oh, so cute. Like, what? what is this she is. <laughs> <laughs> This thing. That's the filet mignon in bacon. What did you get? That's amazing. I had a 14 ounce survey with mashed potatoes, asparagus. I got two scallops on the side with bacon and blue cheese crumbles. That's incredible. Whoa. <laughs> what is that? What do we get? We got vanilla creme brulee, which is gluten free and it's amazing. Ooh. We had it here on our anniversary. And it has a strawberry in it, so it's technically healthy. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what these little nubs are for. I thought they just kind of looked weird. 
but apparently they're really good shock absorbers. They actually feel really cool to walk on. There's like no force going to the bottom of your foot. <laughs> Thank you, babe, so much. You're welcome. I feel like a princess. <laughs> I love you. What, what made you want to take me out? Well, just the fact that you bought us Cabo for uh, oh, I forgot. And everything. We have vacation and soon. You always spoil me a lot, so I really wanted to take you out, and tonight was my first Saturday off, and I don't even know how long, so I thought it'd be perfect. We went to a Christmas carol earlier, and then we got to come here. I feel, like, feel like a spoiled princess. It was the perfect Saturday date night. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're the best. You're such a gentleman. Sometimes. <laughs> All my info box is already preset to upload the same thing every time. We're going to schedule it for today is the 15th. So we're going to make sure it uploads today at 5 p.m. And then upload our thumbnail. Boom. Screenshot. And then we save. And this video will upload by itself automatically at 5 p.m. Even when I'm not here at the computer. It is Sunday, November 15th, almost 1 p.m. And I'm heading to Chipotle in Warwick near TF Green Airport to eat for the first time all day long. And I actually got up early this morning because Ariana woke up early for work, so I just got up with her. So I am starving and I cannot wait to eat. And I'm actually going to make this my pre-workout meal as well. I went ahead and packed my pre-workout shake. It's all ready to go. I don't usually train on Sundays, but I figured the gym's going to be super dead today since it's football Sunday. I figured I'd take advantage of that deadness and uh, get my Monday's upper body workout in today. So we're gonna go hit Chipotle. It's all gonna be tracked and fit into my macros. We're staying on our diet, and then I'm gonna go hit the gym right after it. Then I gotta get a physique update for Kyle Hunt, so I figure I'll show you guys the update as well, where I'm at physique-wise. <laughs> So here we are, workout number three with the dumbbells. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, I put up a video recently where I assessed my dumbbell strength because it was my first time touching dumbbell pressing in like two years. And I worked up to one set of 12 with the 100 pound dumbbells and it was very rough, awkward, and sloppy. My range of motion was terrible. My time under tension was terrible. My mind to muscle connection just wasn't there. Simply because dumbbells were just very awkward feeling. I'd only been using barbell for the last two years thanks to competing in powerlifting and whatnot. Um, as I'm getting lighter and lighter into this cut, Barbells are just feeling rougher and rougher on my joints. I don't feel the connection in my muscles as well anymore So I'm switching over to dumbbells which feel a lot better just for the remainder of this cut until this photo shoot is all done Once I go back to gaining weight and gaining size and strength Then I'll switch back to barbells and focus on powerlifting yet again But for now it's all dumbbells and I told you in that video that I'm programming my dumbbell workouts now so Workout number one is gonna be three sets of 12. Workout number two is gonna be three sets of 10. Workout three is three sets of eight, and then three sets of seven, etc., etc. And it basically pyramids down in reps, and it pyramids up in weight with every single workout. So the first two workouts I did off camera. My three by 12 was done with the 85 pound dumbbells, and my three by 10 was done with the 100 pound dumbbells, which is actually pretty cool considering how hard the 100s felt for that set of 12. That means I'm finally starting to get used to the dumbbells again. I'm starting to get reacquainted with the dumbbells, accustomed to using them, and they're feeling a lot smoother now. So I did my three sets of 10 reps with the 100 pound dumbbells. I even tweeted a video of it because my form's improving. And today is workout number three, and um, it's three by eight. And I knew going into it today that I'd be using either the 105s or the 110s, uh, depending on where my energy was at. And as I warmed up, I decided to keep it more conservative and stick with the 105s. Really, really trying to focus on my form, on bettering my range of motion, on that mind to muscle connection, and that time under tension. Controlling the negative a lot more as well, and contracting the muscles at the top. So basically, I'm really trying to focus on that quality over quantity. And it's, it's hard, I will admit, it's hard to shake the old powerlifting habits. Um, you know, because powerlifting is kind of the opposite. You Look at that, the Chipotle carbohydrates were kicking in. That's why I showed that on camera. The veins were starting to come out because I hadn't had carbs. <laughs> 
Oh man, it's hard to kick the piloting habits though, but we're getting back into it. Um, did shoulders as well. This was my last set, my drop set, my overload set. I was able to do the 45 pound dumbbells for a set of eight reps before drop setting down to the 20 pound dumbbells for just like a burnout set of as many as I could get. In case you guys haven't seen my other upper body workouts, I do four sets of 12 reps very strict form with lateral raises using 30 and 35 pound dumbbells. And then for my fifth set, I do an overload set to really overload the muscles with a, a heavier weight. Usually it's 40 pound dumbbells for anywhere from six to eight reps. And then I drop set down to a lightweight and do a burnout. And that just really fries the shoulders. So the fact that I'm able to do the 45s now, I'm pretty happy with that. And the heavier I'm able to go, the better strength I'm able to gain in my lateral raises, the better I see my shoulders responding to it. So when I started this cut, I was only able to do sets of eight with like 25 pound dumbbells. So my shoulders are getting stronger and they're responding to it quite nicely. Anyway, here's the update that I filmed for Kyle Hunt, my diet coach, and I figured I'd show you guys the update as well. My current stats are, I am down to 175 pounds body weight, and that's coming from 193 pounds when I began this cut. So I'm down close to 20 pounds. Uh, my height is five foot eight. My arms are probably measuring 17 to 17 and a half inches now that I'm getting lighter. They were 18 at their biggest. And my legs are between 25 and 26 inches at the biggest part. My waist, I want to guess, is around 30 inches. I know it gets down to 28 inches when I'm actually contest level of lean, which obviously I'm not yet. Those are the only stats I know. I don't really know any other measurements. Um, going by the mirror, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I've actually gotten compliments by a lot of people who have seen me in person saying that I'm looking significantly leaner now, which is always a good sign. Uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing in the mirror, and obviously the scale's going down too. I'm at 175 pounds. The whole theme to this cut has been slow and steady. I didn't want to drop a ton of weight super fast and end up losing muscle mass and strength. So I'm trying to do this cut as slow as I possibly can so I can maintain optimal muscle mass and strength, keeping the quality on as I get leaner. Um, the only stubborn part I have right now, I would say, is probably my abs. My abs are definitely being the most stubborn area, but they'll get there. We have six more weeks to keep grinding and dialing it in. So thank you guys for watching and supporting. Subscribe now and like if you haven't.